Hey everybody. In the last video, we did a summary of the key takeaways of Dr. Bredesen's 2014 study and paper, Reversal of Cognitive Decline and Novel Therapeutic Program. Today, we're going into an important resource that followed up this study's results and success in 2014. This resource is Dr. Bredesen's first book that was published and released in 2017, The End of Alzheimer's, the first program to prevent and reverse cognitive decline. This book was another extremely valuable tool for my family, especially my father. It also came to be available at a challenging time for my family. The book was released on August 22nd, 2017, the day before my aunt, Sandra, passed away with early onset Alzheimer's disease. My father had not been diagnosed yet, but we all had seen the signs and symptoms for some time. My aunt had fought through the course of the disease for years, as my uncle George took up the responsibility of being her primary caretaker. She passed away at the age of 57. My dad was 53 at the time. So you can imagine there was a high sense of urgency for us to find answers. Finding this book felt like an answered prayer. Just like Bredesen's 2014 study, there was just not many, if any, books or information like this out there at the time. So this became our early playbook. So what does the title mean at the end of Alzheimer's? What Dr. Bredesen's referencing in the title is that us reaching a point where we can prevent Alzheimer's diagnoses for the general public and even reverse symptoms when the disease process has set in after diagnosis is within reach of our lifetimes, not some vague distant future. Dr. Bredesen's position is that soon, within a generation with the recent breakthroughs made in truly understanding how the disease begins and progresses, and the kind of therapies that can be applied, no one should have to die from or with Alzheimer's disease. So here are some of the key areas of the book. The first key area is Dr. Bredesen starting out the book detailing how the disease process begins and progresses. He lays out all the contributing factors, which can be different person to person. And he also explains why past attempts to cure the disease with a monotherapy like one pill or one target haven't worked and why that kind of approach can't really ever work when you come to truly understand how many variables factor into the disease process. Dr. Bredesen states that all past attempts to try to cure the disease have been in search of a silver bullet. When in reality, to truly cure the disease and help patients heal, what we need is a silver buckshot. There are multiple factors that have to be addressed. And one of the most impactful breakthrough concepts Bredesen presents in the book is this metaphor of the 36 holes in the roof. In the last several videos, we talked about the program Bredesen successfully used in his 2014 study, MEND, Metabolic Enhancement for Neurodegeneration. Patients reverse their cognitive decline, addressing about 25 factors covering nutrition, sleep, exercise, stress reduction, hormones, digestive health, among others. Well, by 2017, with more expanded research, insights gained, and patients helped, Dr. Bredesen's team identified 36 factors that were central to optimal cognitive health. When these 36 were in disrepair, that's when we'd start experiencing cognitive decline. Fixing the condition was like fixing 36 holes in your roof. These 36 had to be addressed and treated for the body and brain to start to heal, repair itself, <clears throat> and reverse symptoms. Patching up one hole with one pill would still allow plenty of rain to get in through the other 35 and destroy the home. So you need to address more than just one hole. This leads to the next key area of the book, where he details how personalized evaluation, testing, and treatment is the way to help patients heal and reverse disease from here on. Everyone has different factors that are driving cognitive decline, so we need to get a clear baseline of how the patient got here and what's driving the disease process to create the most effective roadmap and tailored program to help them heal. He goes into several case studies, patients on the protocol that have reversed their cognitive decline and then delves into the personalized programs they followed to do it. Nutritional, exercise, sleep, stress reduction recommendations, they're all in the book, as well as which blood labs to test for. We'll go more in depth into those in future videos, but I strongly recommend that everyone have a copy of this book, even if you're not directly affected now, but you have had a family history. It's extremely valuable information and I think that Dr. Bredesen does a good job of making it very relatable and something that you can digest without making it too overwhelming. I've included a link to the book down in the description below, and I'd love to hear from you. Have you read The End of Alzheimer's? What are your thoughts on the book? What's your biggest takeaway? If you found this information helpful, 
please feel free to share this video with anyone you think it could serve. And remember, I'm not a doctor. I don't have a PhD. I'm a caregiver and a citizen researcher on the ground, helping a loved one, someone just like you. This information is for educational purposes only. Please consult your medical practitioner before implementing any changes. Thank you for watching. My dad thanks you. Hope these resources are helpful to you and your family. And see you in the next video. Thanks.